Hello there, it's Don here again and this is my third video showing you how I go about making my dioramas. Uh, this is the first shot that we made in the first two videos and I've just completed this second shot now. Uh, you can see the, the bombed out shop at the bottom there um, with all the uh, exposed brickwork from the broken render and I've glazed, glazed the windows. Okay, so now I shall go about telling you how I made this. So we'll start off the same way as we did before with the other smaller shop. Uh, this is going to be a three-story high building. So when the side goes on like so, that's going to be taller than the other the other shop and wider and deeper so a much bigger shop altogether just as a contrast between the two so I've cut this to uh, five and a half inches by nine inches or 14 centimeters by 23 centimeters and again it's three millimeter card so again we just mark out where we want our doors and windows to go and where the moulding is to go and uh, carefully again cut out all the windows and doors until we've got something like that I've uh, glued all the moulding on already uh, and made a cut out for where the bomb damage will be so there will be uh, a big hole in the bottom of the building down there okay so what I've done also is if you put a piece of card uh, behind the windows and mark around the windows or these two anyway and then cut those windows out you'll get something like this which we can stick on the front which will be our broken render so it will be brickwork here and then uh, the the the, um, the bro broken render what's left on the building on this side here okay so we'll uh, stick that on in a moment and then for the side we'll do pretty much the same thing so that's going to be render and that will be brickwork and that will glue on the side there like so so you can see where the the bombers sit at the bottom of the shop there okay so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we've glued everything all together now. We put the roof on. I'll show you how I did that a bit later. Uh, we put the uh, broken render on the front and on the sides there. So this will be uh, uh, the, the remaining render and this will be open brickwork. Uh, I put window sills in two of the windows there. And uh, I put just two pieces of polystyrene in the side there just to give the impression of the, the thickness of the walls. So I've already mixed some filler and water and now we just need to paint over the render area and the shop. So I'll go ahead and do that.
that's it so I've done the the front of the shop I'll do the sides a bit later but it's uh, basically just the same okay and uh, I've made a, a door which won't go in the shop we'll just have that sitting on the side there when uh, when that's all painted up it's just two pieces of one millimeter card uh, one with the cutouts on one piece and then just stuck onto the onto the other piece just to give the impression of a panel door okay and then for the roof I used uh, these uh, thick straws and cut them off to about half an inch and then cut those in half and then with PVA glue they They give the impression of a, a tiled roof like that so it's a very long laborious job but I think the the end result is uh, is quite rewarding I'm quite pleased with with the way that, uh, that roof has turned out it still needs a little bit more weathering and improving but um, I think we're almost there okay so the next job is the uh, brickwork So this is how I go about making my brickwork. I use only filler. So these test pieces will be an, easy, an easier way of showing how I, how I do it. So I put the uh, filler onto the piece that, where you want the, the brickwork to be. Once the filler is on, there's very little you can do because it's very sticky. You can't touch it with your fingers or any uh, modelling instrument, it'll just uh, stick to it, which basically is what it's supposed to do really. But if you give it 10-15 minutes, eventually you'll be able to model the filler into the shape that you want. And I normally try to keep about 2 millimetres thick for brickwork. So after about 10 minutes you can move the filler quite easily into the shape and uh, as to what you uh, where you want the brickwork okay then take a pencil with a rubber in the end or eraser take the eraser out the the end and just fashion the end into the shape of a brick an oblong shape Okay, and that will give you uh, give you the shape of a brick. So, after about half an hour, 45 minutes or so, leave the filler to dry just a little, and then move along with the pencil, making the shape of each brick along there, like so. It may take longer depending on where you live really. I live in Thailand so it dries pretty quickly because it's always hot here. Uh, but you, you'll get to know the, the, uh, when the filler is ready to be moulded. Okay, so just make the brickwork shape with the end of the pencil like so. Okay, and then after 24 hours you'll need to wait for the plast for the uh, filler to dry then when it's dry paint it to whatever brick color you want um, I've painted it quite, quite a bright red there then with more filler I'll just uh, mix some there with just a li little tiny bit of water in there add just a little bit of black paint in there and mix that in so the filler now is grey this is going to be the the grout the uh, the mortar of the bricks okay so now we've got a, a grey mortar there then we just Stick that 
all over the painted bricks like so. Doesn't matter if you do doesn't if you don't cover it completely. It's really just as long as the gaps between the bricks are filled in. Okay. Then, with the aid of a little bit of water and a sponge, we can slowly take the surface of the fill off. And you can see now that the mortar is staying between the bricks and we can slowly see the colour back of the brick. Probably need a little bit more off than that. There, that's better. Now we can see the face of the brick, the red face of the brick, and the grey mortar in between. Obviously uh, you can choose whatever colour mortar or colour brick you want. But I think that gives quite a realistic impression of bricks. And it, it feels like brick. When you touch to the touch, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a brick feeling. <laughs> so that's basically how I do, uh, do my brick work. When that is dry, then I go over with a black wash. And once the black wash is on, And it gives that kind of effect. A real old brickwork looking, uh, looking effect. I think you'll agree that looks quite realistic. Okay, so that's how I go about making my bombed out houses. Uh, in the next video, I'll be uh, putting the two shops together and we'll be making a cobbled street to finish the diorama off uh, so that we can have the half track going down the street. So I'll be back again in a few days time. Um, once again, happy modelling and see you again soon.